conservation of energy. We have point A, point B. An object at rest is let go from point A, vertical height 12 meters. It slides down to point B. What is the speed of the object at B? Ignore frictional and rotational energies. We are letting go the object at rest from point A. Point A is 12 meters vertically above zero level. Point B is at the zero level. Question is, what is the speed of the object at B? Ignore frictional and rotational energies. Welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Energy is conserved. Energy due to motion at A plus energy due to position at A equals energy due to motion at B plus energy due to position at B. What is energy due to motion at point A? It's kinetic energy and kinetic energy is one half m v squared. What is energy due to position at point A? And that is potential energy and that is m g h. Do not forget h can be positive, zero or negative. For our case, h is positive 12. Energy due to motion at point A, it is starting from rest, so speed is zero, so the kinetic energy, the kinetic energy at point A is zero. Energy due to position at A is mgh, where h is positive 12 meters. And that sum is equal to energy due to motion at B plus energy due to position at B. Energy due to motion at B is kinetic energy, one half mv squared, Energy due to position at B is mgh, but we are at the zero level, h is zero. That means what? Potential energy at point B is zero. Energy due to motion at A. Energy due to motion at A is zero. So velocity is zero, speed is zero. So energy due to motion, which is one half m square of the speed is equal to zero. What is the energy due to position at point A? It's mgh. What is gravity? What is acceleration due to gravity? 9.8 meters per second per second. What is h? What is h? h is 12 meters vertically above point A. So h is 12. So energy due to motion is zero. Energy due to position is m times 9.8 times 12. So when you add, you get m times 9.8 times 12. Energy due to motion at B is one half mv squared. Now we are at point B. Notice the color change. Energy due to motion at B is one half mv squared. It is definitely moving. It is definitely moving. So we do have kinetic energy at point B. Do not forget, this is point B. At point B, the object is moving. So you have kinetic energy. But we are at the zero level. We are at the zero level. This is the zero level, right? So we are at the zero level. So what happens to the potential energy? It is zero. Total mechanical energy at B is energy due to motion at B plus energy due to position at B. Energy due to motion is one half mv squared. Energy due to position is zero. So you get the total as one half mv squared. A, we have mgh, m times 9.8 times 12. And from point B, we have one half mv squared. Total mechanical energy at point A should be equal to total mechanical energy at point B. So all you have to do is set one half mv squared equal to mgh. All right, so you set these two and solve for cancel mass and solve for V. Simple enough. Total mechanical energy at A equals total mechanical energy at B implies mgh equals one half mv squared. So you have mgh equals one half mv squared. Cancel mass. So you get gh is equal to v squared over two. gh is equal to v squared over two. Multiply by two on both sides and you get two gh is equal to v squared. Take square root both sides and we get v is equal to square root of 2gh. So we know g is 9.8, we know h is 12, and we now know the speed. So substitute 
all the quantities that we know. G is 9.8, H is 12. And then once you find the product, take the square root of that and you get 15.34 meters per second. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.